More than a dozen people were hurt last Friday when a deck collapsed at the Sea View Inn in Pawleys Island. Officials say it gave in like a trap door. But what caused the collapse? That's something they still don't know. On Wednesday, we caught up with Georgetown County building official Robert Cox to find out what causes decks to fail. Most of the time, the factor on deck failure is, is the attachment, the nailing, and the amount of load, and also the age of the deck. Cox says a typical deck can accommodate a 200-pound person every four square feet. Once that is exceeded, then the deck, there's a possibility for failure. Now, one of the most terrifying things when it comes to deck safety is the unseen. Things like this nail, completely unseen to the eye and completely decayed. If you'll notice, they're already starting to rust. Once that happens to a structural nail, then the top of the nail rusts off and there's no more structural integrity in the nail. And all that structural strength comes from the bolting. Decaying bolts means a lack of support. Whether it be a commercial or a private deck, Cox says there isn't really a set time before boards or nails should be replaced. He says check your deck at least every year. It should be checked annual. Um, to make sure that, that, that the members are still structurally sound and, and that the lumber is not starting to rot. And don't do it yourself. Engineers can come over and they can determine how the deck's built, the size of the deck. Having your decks inspected on an annual basis, basis with guests coming over, vacationers, can save lives. In Pauley's Island, Mark Liverman, WPDE News Channel 15. Stand, the judge says, Mr.